like two days ago. I don't know if you can see those down there, but I was told I couldn't come back to practice without my knee pads on because I was messing up my knees. Who told you that? Coach Elsie. She okay. texted me and said, put those knee pads on, please. <laughs> Does that impact how you're playing and practicing? Yeah, I got I got to dive on the ground. If nobody else wants to tear up their body, I definitely would throw myself out there. I think that's the kind of player Coach Carrozzi <laughs> likes to see, though, right? I mean, she wants you to put it on the line for the Wildcats. She does, and she don't stop the game. Like we'll be scrimmaging, I dive on the ground, she said, keep moving. So you gotta get up quick. <laughs> she talked a little bit to us earlier about how competitive these practices have been so far. What have you seen these first week or so? I think we've got a good group of girls that just want to win. We'll do anything to win in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> we don't like cheat, but um, they really give their all every day in practice. And we have some days where we're not there, but like, but teammates and everybody getting up, and giving everybody a pat on the back. It keeps you going and it keeps you moving. So yeah, definitely. So when you have so many new people on a team, obviously a big part of this off season has just been bonding, getting to know each other, and now trying to transfer that onto the court. How is that process going for you? For me personally. If you don't know, I don't, I've never met a stranger. But, um, yeah, these are literally my sisters, and I met them three months ago. Like, I have a really, really good bond with over half of the girls, and I'm still trying to work on a bond with everybody else. But there's not a person on this team that you, like, can't run to something and run to them about something. Like, one day I was having a really bad day, and they all were there, and it didn't matter. That's what teammates are supposed to be, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you know any of these girls before you officially committed and came here? Um, I met Emma and I met Blair on my visit. And then Blair actually came to Nashville and surprised me at my whole announcement party. So that was cool. And then I, Emma couldn't make it, but I talked to Emma from out there. And Emma was literally like my best friend. So. Did Blair know you were picking UK when she came down, or was she, she taking a, a risk? Blair knew. I told her at the SEC tournament, but, you know. Okay, so you were at the SEC tournament? I was at it. Right in my hometown, so, you know, I couldn't miss it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What was your impression of this team when you saw them in that tournament? Um, honestly, everybody doubted them. And I had told Coach LZ that they were going to prove everything, prove everybody wrong. And they did exactly that, so I was ready to be a part of it. How does that win kind of inspire you as like, you know, now finally you are a wildcat? Does it give you something to try and aspire to? Yeah, it pushes me to be like, dang. You know, they'd be like, your ancestors did this. I mean, they're kind of like my ancestors. So I'm trying to put my best foot forward and uh, keep their legacy going. And then, you know, they kind of put us at number 10 right now. So I think all of us are eager and ready to go out there and prove everybody wrong. What's been the biggest adjustment you've had to make from going from high school ball to, you know, playing with taller players and just the speed? Um, strength. In high school, they were not this strong, man. <laughs> I'm getting body, so really working with Coach Taylor, working on getting better and getting stronger. And hey, it's, it's been, you couldn't see that two months ago. It's coming. <laughs> Has that been hard? I mean, that, that's not as fun of, of a process as the actual basketball is, I would imagine. Oh, not at all. That man is crazy. <laughs> he gets you, but he gets you good. He's really a good person. He's really a good man. He, he wants the best for all of us. So he's really pushing us to become stronger, eat better, and really just be good people all around. I was talking you know, with Coach Elsie in the press conference, and she mentioned this kind of point system during practice. How's that kind of work, and how does that make it more competitive for you guys? All right, so we do a lot of running. This is a track team. This is not a basketball team. But anyways, so if you win the entire week, you're off on sprints. So everybody's like, dang, I want to win. So everybody, we have rebounding wars, and you get knocked up real bad. Cause, and then if you win one of the sprints that you have to do, get a point for that so everybody's running harder everybody's trying i don't i don't want to say there's a that's why we're trying but come on now if you get to skip all sprints all weeks you want to win too <laughs> it's a big deal i get it it's funny